Thank you guys. We are doing uh, chapter 33 and you do from 1 to uh, it goes up to 23. God bless you as you subscribe to my YouTube channel FM Martin the Source and uh, follow me on Facebook page uh, and God will bless you. Thank you Lord for this wonderful afternoon. Thank you for your word that you are about to hear. May you bless us Lord as we take it. For this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus name. Amen. 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 The Lord orders Israel to leave Mount Sinai. This is chapter 33. The Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought out of Egypt, and go to the land that I promised to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants. I will send an angel to guide you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Ezathites, and the Perizzites, the Evites, and the Jebusites. You are going to... Um, rich and fertile land, but I will not go with you myself, because you are a stubborn people, and I might destroy you on the way. When the people heard this, they began to mourn and did not wear jewelry anymore. For the Lord had commanded Moses to say to them, You are stubborn people. If I were to go with you, even for a moment, I would completely destroy you. Now take off your jewelry and I will decide what to do with you. So after they left Mount Sinai, the people of Israel no longer wore jewelry, the tent of the Lord's presence. Whenever the people of Israel set up camp, Moses would take the sacred tent and put it up some distance away from the camp. It was called the tent of the Lord's presence. And anyone who wanted to consult the Lord would go out to eat. Whenever Moses went out there, the people would stand at the door there uh, of, the, of their tents and uh, watch Moses until he entered it. After Moses had gone in, the pillar of cloud would come down and uh, stay at the door of the tent. And the Lord would speak to Moses from the cloud. As soon as the people saw the pillar of cloud, at the door of the tent, they would bow down. The Lord would speak with Moses face to face, just as, one, as someone speaks with a friend. Then Moses would return to the camp, but the young man who was his helper, Joshua, son of Nun, stayed in the tent. Moses said to the Lord, um, It is true that... Um, you have told me to lead these people to the land, to that land, but you did not tell me what you would send me, send with me. You have said that you know me well, I'll, and I'll priest with me. Now, if you are, tell me your plan so that I may serve you and continue to please you. Remember also that you have chosen this nation to be your home. The Lord said, I will go with you and uh, you and uh, and I will give you victory. Moses replied, If you do not go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you are, you are pleased with your people? You are pleased with your people and with me. If you do not go with us, your presence with us will distinguish us from any other people of, on earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do just as you have asked, because I know you very well, and I am pleased with you. Then Moses requested, Please let me see the dazzling light of your presence. The Lord answered, I will make all my splendor pass before you, and in your presence I will pronounce my sacred name. I am the Lord, and I show compassion and the pity on those I choose. I will not let you... See my face, because no one can see me and stay alive. But here is a place beside, beside me, where you can stand on a rock. When the dazzling light of my presence passes, I will put you in an opening in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will make my hand my hand away. I will take my hand away and you will see my back, but not my face. That is his word. That is uh, chapter 33, 1 to 23. May God bless his word 
Continue subscribing to my YouTube channel, FM Martin the Source, and God will bless you guys. I love you, I love you so, so much.